Let's all mute. Oh, that is funny. Uh, it's all right. As long as you're quiet, I don't mind if the sound is on. We'll get into things where I kind of like to hear the reactions anyway. Before COVID started, there was a trend of youngsters moving back in with their parents. Of course, if these two move back in with their parents, God bless all four of them. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> There's an email going around offering processed pork, gelatin, and salt in a can. If you get this email, don't open it. It is spam. Staying safe and secure, a great way to start is by using Avast, even if it's the free version of Avast, which is what I use. You live so much of your life online. Between your friends, your career, and your funny videos, you might not be thinking about your security but we are. We're Avast, the global leader in consumer cybersecurity. We offer cutting edge security and privacy products to keep you safe from malware, ransomware, Trojans, spam, phishing, and other threats on your mobile phone, your Mac, or your PC. Our VPN software makes sure your connection is always safe, encrypted, and secure, no matter where you are. And we keep you safe from the latest browser-based threats with Avast Secure Browser. We even secure your home network and all the different connected things that are on it. You benefit from the power of the Avast cybersecurity network made up of hundreds of millions of U's because there's safety in numbers. Avast sees emerging threats and stops them on day zero before others even know they exist. So you're free to live your digital life and leave the security to us. Take charge of your security and privacy today with solutions from Avast. The Avast family has over 435 million users worldwide. So if there's an outbreak, it doesn't take very long until Avast has found a way of blocking it and it gets passed along to everybody who uses the program. In my promo, I promise to simplify, clarify, and demystify your computer while staying safe and secure on all your devices. And I always try to keep my promises. <laughs> two, th two things I want to point out on this slide. Make sure that your application software is always of the highest quality. And regardless of what operating system you use, make sure that you have a reliable backup. Without a backup, if the main system fails, you're going to wind up in hot water. In this case, a lot worse than hot water. Something to think about the next time you visit your shrink. It also points out the importance of paying attention to details. And when you're on the internet, details are very important. As I said, details are very important. Install solid security software on every computer and device. Use strong and unique passwords. Only download programs and apps from trusted sources employ a virtual private network, and think twice before opening attachments, following links, or sharing sensitive information. Eight essentials of secure computing. Make sure that you use a secure browser, especially important when you do your banking and your shopping. A vast secure browser is specifically designed to keep you safe when you do your banking and shopping because it totally isolates you from everything else. Use an ad blocker. The last thing you want is to get on a website and be bombarded with ads. You might accidentally even click on one of them and have all kinds of problems. Add a malware, your modern antivirus program, no longer just protects you against viruses, trojans, and rootkits. It also protects you against all sorts of malware. Actually, malware is an umbrella term for all things bad when it comes to your computer. Use a password manager. That way you can use a different password for everything that requires a password. A v <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. A VPN hides your location and encrypts everything before it leaves your computer and doesn't get unencrypted till just before it gets to its destination. This is especially important when you're using open or unprotected connections and unprotected Wi-Fi. Data and image backups. 
My choice is what's already part of Windows. And as I said, everyone needs to make reliable backups on a regular basis. Data encryption. The easiest way to encrypt things is through the use of a VPN. If it's encrypted and someone steals it, it's of no use to the person who stole it because they don't have any way of unlocking it. A healthy paranoia simply points out that sometimes it's a good thing to be suspicious. Public Wi-Fi has gotten safer over the years, but that's only because they now use HTTPS. Unfortunately, the cyber crooks have found a way to make you think you're on a secure site when you actually aren't. For maximum protection on public Wi-Fi networks, a VPN is still recommended. When you use a VPN, you connect to a single VPN server and all your system traffic is routed through an encrypted tunnel to the server. The public Wi-Fi network you're connected to sees a single connection, your VPN connection, and no one can even see which websites you're connecting to. The VPN that I use comes from a vast, it's called SecureLine, does an excellent job of hiding my location and encrypts everything. So even if it gets intercepted, I'm still safe. They get garbage. This, however, is not a free product. To use it, you have to pay for it. There are quite a few free VPNs available. Realize that free also usually has restrictions. They may limit the amount of data they'll encrypt. They may limit the amount of the VPN portion that you can use. They could have ads in their product, all kinds of things. There's usually a reason why it's free. Companies use data gathered from cell towers, ambient Wi-Fi, and GPS. But the location data industry has a much more precise and unobtrusive tool. It's called Bluetooth beacons, and they can track you within inches. Bluetooth is technology for connecting everything from wireless earphones to car entertainment systems. It's used for data transfer and many other things. Bluetooth is also a hacker haven. Therefore, when not in use, turn it off. Don't just leave it on for the occasional time you use it. Turn it off and then turn it back on when you need it. There's a new vulnerability. For those of you that are on an Android device, make sure you're using at least version 10 of the operating system on your Android device. Anything below that is vulnerable to this vulnerability. And it simply means that somebody gets close to you and they can now harvest everything on your smartphone. This does not affect those of you that are using an iOS device. It only affects Android devices. Version 10 was released back in February. Version 11 has already been released. So make sure you get as up to date as possible. Under 10, you're vulnerable. Ransomware, be aware. More and more municipalities are getting hit and are paying the ransom. And paying is never a good idea and it doesn't guarantee recovery. If you send your money to get the key and you either don't get a key or get a key that doesn't work, who are you going to complain to? You're dealing with a crook. The only sure way to protect yourself against something like ransomware is to, as I said before, on a regular basis, back up your system. This is what I use on my computer. It's been part of Windows since version 7, and it still works in the very latest release of Windows 10. You'll find it in the control panel under Backup and Restore Windows 7. Now, that only means that it was released with version 7, and as I said, it still works today on the latest release of Windows 10. In my home, every Saturday night when I finish for the day, I get off the internet, I put it in airplane mode, then I plug in my external hard drive. During the night, an image is created, which is an exact copy of my hard drive. Sunday morning, that's finished. I then first thing, unplug that external hard drive from my computer, and then I go back on the internet. Never leave the external hard drive on which you create your image backups attached to your computer while you're on the internet. Because if you get hit with CryptoLocker, it not only encrypts your computer, but will also encrypt any external devices attached to that computer. 
And the last thing you want to do is to have them encrypt your backup. You'll have absolutely nothing. When you're installing lots of programs, like when you get a brand new computer, a great place to go is called Night Night. I have a little video that'll show you just why you should be using Night Night. Night Night is a place where you can select many of the programs that you use. Nice thing is no toolbars, no add-ons, no malware, and anything you select from here you can run again later to check for updates. This tells you something about Night Night and when you go further down you see here is a whole list of all different types of programs in all different categories. Pick out those that you use. Since this is a clean install of Windows it has the Edge browser. My favorite happens to be Google Chrome. So that's one of the items I've picked up in imaging. I like Earth and View, Avast Antivirus, Malware Bytes, 7-Zip, Revo Uninstaller. Those are the ones I've checked. You pick out your favorites. Once that's done, click on the button that says Get Your Night Night. This will download all the installation files. We'll then one at a time install them. And the same little Get Your Night Night, you can run it at any time and it will update these programs that you've installed should a new version come out. A quick way to install your favorite programs after you've done a clean install. Unchecky, little program that sits in your system tray and it has your back anytime you install a program, especially if you're using the default method of installing the program, because it will warn you if that program you install has little garbage attached to it. And it will give you the opportunity to prevent that garbage from getting to your computer. A Vast Quick Tips Episode 3. Never unintentionally live a double life. You check your email. That's a compelling subject line. Open it. There's a suspicious looking link in there, but it sure looks exciting. It just needs some personal details. Name, address, first pet's name. You're a winner, right? Psych, it was a phishing link and you took the bait. Some woman in <laughs> Norway just stole your identity <laughs> and your savings. Congratulations, you're now living a double life as a Norwegian woman named Aspjorn. Bushly! Don't take risks with your online security. Channel your inner English teacher. Hackers often use poor grammar in phishing emails. Make sure every link is HTTPS and the URL isn't weird or misspelled. Or let a powerful anti-spam do it for you. Anti-spam can flag or delete any dangerous and annoying phishing emails. So the only life you get to live is your own. A vast quick tip number three, download a vast free antivirus to stay safe from phishing scams. Get free phishing protection with a vast free antivirus at avast.com. Phishing campaigns usually come from companies we recognize, probably companies you do business with. The difference between a genuine email from a company you do business with when they have to let you know there's a problem with your account or some other problems They'll send you an email and they'll simply tell you there's a problem, please contact us and the onus of contacting is on you. If it's a phishing attempt, I can guarantee you there's always going to be a link to help make it easier for you to go and give the right information to fix your account. There may even be a phone number in there for you to call. Unfortunately, the link and the phone number don't go to the actual company. They're going to the cyber crook who sent you this phishing email. And when you click that link to fix your problem, that's actually when your problems are going to start. So realize if you're getting it and it looks legit and it's coming from a company you do business with, if it has a link or a phone number in it, be very, very weary. Best thing you can do is act on nothing within that email, pick up the phone and call the company and verify that they've actually sent you something. And I can pretty much guarantee you the answer is, no, this did not come from us. Tech support scams, lots of them out there. Phone scam, usually you get a call from somebody purporting to be from Microsoft or some other company stating that there's a problem with your computer and they want to fix it for you. Well, a legitimate tech support company doesn't call you out of the blue. They, just like Microsoft and Apple and anybody else, have no way of knowing if you have a problem with your computer. If you have a problem, you contact them. 
They're not mind readers. They can't just out of the blue contact you. So if you get a call where somebody says you have a problem, don't reply because you will have a problem after they get finished with you. Email scams. You see something unfamiliar, don't click on any links. Don't use any of the phone numbers. Put it in the trash. That's where it belongs. Web scams. Never ever turn control of your computer over to a total stranger. If they say we need to have access to your computer to fix your problem, uh, the only person you ever give access to is somebody you know and trust, somebody you would allow to take your computer out of your home with its password. If you allow the person to do that, then it's also okay to give them remote access. If you wouldn't give it to them and have it taken out of your home, don't give remote access. They'll have access to everything on your computer. Pop-up warnings, avoid clicking on any prompts and don't use any of the phone numbers that may be in the pop-up. When we search for something online like tech support, don't automatically assume that the top number is the one you should be using. They got to the top because they paid the most amount of money. That's what got them to the top. The best way to get reliable tech support is hopefully through a friend who's already used the service and can recommend them. That's the safest way. Otherwise, you need to do some investigation before you wind up actually using somebody that you see by doing a search on the internet. Identity theft, an excellent site to get information on the latest identity theft scams that are out there. And to get help if you've had your identity stolen is called idtheftcenter.org. It is a nonprofit. They don't charge for their services. The only thing they do is help you recoup if you've had your identity stolen. Our passwords always get stolen. A site we use where we have to sign in, it could be your bank, it could be your broker, it could be a health service provider. They get hacked and now your password, regardless of how strong, is in the hands of a cyber crook. Avast offers a web service called HackCheck and this is what it can do for you. Avast HackCheck and how to use it. Once you go to the website, put in the email address for which you want to check for possible hacks. Click on check now. It gives you the results. It also tells you to go check that email because Avast has now sent you a reply to that email address that you used to check. So the next step is to go to your email account and see the reply that you've received from Avast. This is the email I received. It tells me to change my password now. And you'll notice you can't see what the password is but that button on the bottom that says show details, once we click it, we'll get redirected to another site. At that website, it will show you the leaked password. And next to it, you see what looks like a little eye. If you click on that eye, it reveals that password that's been leaked. If that's still your current password, you better hurry up and change it. If you've already changed that password, it's perfectly okay at this point now to mark it as resolved, which is what I'll be doing. That's what it takes to use Avast's website to check for compromised passwords, hacked passwords. System Restore is great, but Rollback RX is much better. System Restore is great when you have a problem, you can roll back to it sometime in the past to bypass a current problem. However, quite often it doesn't work when you need it the most. Also, it takes a long time to create a restore point and it takes even longer to roll back to one of those restore points. Rollback RX takes snapshots, that's what they call it, same as a restore point. Difference is that Rollback RX, their snapshot is created in seconds. And when it's time to roll back to one of those snapshots, that also only takes a few seconds. This has always restored. I've never had a problem where it would not work. They have two versions, free and paid. In the free version, it makes a maximum of five snapshots. When it reaches number five, it stops making snapshots. The way you bypass it is if at number five has been made, 
you have no problems with your computer, go in there and erase some of the old ones. It'll then again start making backups or snapshots until it again reaches five. The paid version has no limit on how many backups or snapshots it makes for you. Now, remember, this is not the same as a backup. It may be as reliable as a backup. It's made on your operating system on your hard drive. So this would not get you out of a pickle when you have a problem with computer being infected or getting hit with CryptoLocker because it happens to the entire computer. You still need to make your regular image backups. But for the average day thing, if something goes wrong, just go back to before the problem happened, you're back in business. McShield helps to protect you against boot sector infections. Anytime you insert a flash drive, memory card from a camera, or an external hard drive. By default, your antivirus program only checks programs that you open on those flash drives and external devices. It does not check every part of that flash drive or external hard drive. I use this to check for boot sector infections and then my antivirus program automatically checks anything on that device that I might open or access. You can make changes to your antivirus program and say, hey, before I get a chance to do anything on that external device, I want you to check everything on that device. Problem is, if it's a large hard drive, external hard drive, you could be waiting for a half hour for it to finish doing its job. That's why you use this for boot sector and then your antivirus automatically kicks in and takes care of anything that you open and checks to make sure it, there's no infection before you get to use that uh, program. CCleaner was originally called Crap Cleaner. Because that's its job. Clean up all the garbage we accumulate anytime we go on the internet or use the programs on our computers. This is what I suggest you do with CCleaner when you install it. This little tutorial will cover the installation of CCleaner version 571 and some privacy and other setting changes after the installation that should be followed. Number one, always use custom. Default will install whatever the company wants to install. Customize will allow you to choose what to install and what to bypass. I personally don't need a desktop shortcut. All the other options are useful and will stay. Click on more. I want it to be installed just for me since I'm the only one on this computer. Now we can go ahead and hit the install. Bypass viewing the release notes. Next we'll select run CCleaner. Close this one up. Options. Privacy. And what you want to uncheck is help improve the app upgrades and offers from third parties. That will stop the pop-ups. One more thing to do in the options. I like to use my CCleaner on demand. I don't want it to be resident. I don't want it to automatically do any cleaning for me. So to fix that, go into Smart Cleaning and uncheck, tell me when there are junk files to clean and uncheck enable smart cleaning. Yes, it'll warn you because it likes to be resident. I don't want it that way. I'll do my cleaning on demand when I want to clean garbage. Are you sure you want to do this? The answer is yes. That takes care of all the changes that I'm going to make. You are now ready to use CCleaner and I recommend that you use the default settings. They're perfectly safe. They'll clean out all the garbage for you and you'll have probably a slightly faster running computer. That's it for the settings changes and the custom installation of CCleaner. Unlocker helps to bypass program in use message. That usually comes up if you have a pesky program you want to uninstall, it'll come back and tell you can't do that because one of the programs or one of the files is currently in use. If you have Unlocker on there, you'll be able to bypass that message because you'll be able to close out what's being used so you can uninstall the program. Recuva helps you recover something you've deleted in error. It's no big deal if you delete something and immediately realize I shouldn't have done that. Just restore it. However, if you got a picture that you accidentally deleted and then maybe a month later you're looking for it, you can't find it. 
Well, this is in categories. So just check pictures, run it, and it will show you all the pictures that have been deleted, which can still be recovered. And you'll be able to get your picture back. Just because you deleted it doesn't mean that it's not still there. It's just been slightly changed so you can no longer access it. And unless it's been overridden, that could be there for months. This is done in uh, categories. So if it's something else you're looking for, like music, documents, videos, compressed files, emails, or other things, just pick your category and use the program to recover what's missing. Passwords need to be long and strong. I changed my password to incorrect. So whenever I forget what the, compu uh, the computer will say, your password is incorrect. This might make it easier to remember your password, but it will not keep you safe or secure. Also, do not use beef stew as a computer password. It's not stroking off. These are the 10 most used passwords worldwide. And as you can see, there isn't a single one on there that's worth anything. They've also been the 10 most used passwords for who knows how long. People just don't seem to learn. It's also not safe to write down your passwords on a sticky note and attach it to your refrigerator. Especially nowadays when we have smart refrigerators, you have no way of knowing where they will wind up. Passwords. You should be using a password manager. That way, there's no problem with using a different password for everything that requires one. When you use a password manager, the only password you have to remember is the one to get into the password manager. It can do everything else for you. What I have listed on the left side are cross-platform managers, which means you can use them in all your devices and all your operating systems. The link on the bottom will give you a list of a whole bunch of password managers, some free and some paid with reviews. I personally have used LastPass for quite a few years. I use the free version and I've been very happy with it. This shows you all the things that are part of the free version of Avast, probably a lot more than you thought. It's not a stripped down version. Actually, the protection you get in the free version of Avast is the same as the protection that you get in the paid version. Difference between free and paid is not the protection, it's add-ons. If you want a firewall, you want spam blockers, other kind of goodies, you're paying for those goodies, not the protection. Everybody gets the same protection. There's also a free version available for those of you on a Mac and on an Android device. Avast also updates the protection it offers very frequently. There's a mini update almost every six minutes. So as new vulnerabilities are discovered, you automatically every six minutes get the protection for the newest discovered stuff. There are two major protections every day and those major protections consolidate the little ones that you receive throughout the day. The packets on these things are so small, there's no way that you will ever know that anything's going on. It all happens in the background, but you're always as up to date as possible against the newest discovered viruses. I've used the free version since 2003. It's light on system resources, has done an excellent job of protecting my systems. I can honestly say that Avast has made a vast difference on my computers and it can do the same for yours. It is faster, smarter, uses artificial intelligence and human genius to keep us protected. Welcome to our online world. Our lives are online. We believe everyone has the right to privacy and security online. So we built the most advanced threat detection network. Combining human genius and the latest in artificial intelligence. Proactively detecting and blocking threats in real time. Preventing over 1.5 billion cyber attacks each month. 
over 400 million users across the globe trust us. However, you connect. Wherever you connect, protecting your business, your home, everywhere you connect. We are Avast, committed to online privacy and security. Why not download and install Avast today? Protection for all the people all over the world. There's also a version for those of you on a Mac. Offers real-time protection, full Mac scans, custom scans, security reports, total malware detection, removable drive scans, scheduled scans, and of course, real-time security updates. If you're on an Android device, you need at least as much protection for your Android device as you do for your computer. Probably more, because most of us have more personal information on our phones than we have on our computers. Avast makes free mobile security available to keep your Android devices safe and secure. What are you downloading? It's just a game on an app store. Honey, are you using Avast? It works on your phone too. It's just a word game. I'm sure it's fine. Hello? Hello? Nice work, club. So I got access to all your data, photos and videos too. What? Yeah, the spyware is sick. And I get every photo we take. Insane, right? No. We should take some more selfies. The lighting in here is great. Like I was saying, use Avast for your phone too. It protects you against fake apps, phishing, malware, spyware, and ransomware. Did I mention there's even a free version? Unlike those video games you keep buying. Ugh. Avast also has a browser for your Android device, and it even has a free VPN built in. So whenever you're on open or unsecured Wi-Fi, your VPN will be there to protect you and keep everything encrypted. If you're on a Mac, there's no such thing as third-party antivirus. If you have a virus or other problems, you get a patch from Apple, and that's how you stay safe. Avast does offer mobile security for iOS, and it's all about ensuring your online privacy and protecting your personal information from hackers and spies. This requires iOS 10 or higher. The top part of this shows you what's included in the free version of Avast mobile security for your iOS device. If you want to make Avast happy, the bottom shows you what you can purchase, gives you some added protection. Nine tips everyone forgets on their smart devices. Lock your device with a passcode. If you can take your phone out of its pouch and have immediate access to it, so will the crook who steals it or the person who finds it if you lose it. Should at least protect it with a passcode. A passcode granted will not keep a pro hacker out of your device but it will prevent the average person who may be picking up the phone when you lose it out of your phone and keep them away from your data. Avoid suspicious links. Update your software as quickly as possible. If you're on an Android device, make sure that you're using at least version 10. Use a security app. Use a VPN on open Wi-Fi networks. Download apps from reputable app stores. Don't get them through a third party. Back up your data to the cloud. If your device is lost or stolen, at least you still can get to the information on your device. Enable remote wiping on your device so that if it's lost or stolen, once the phone goes back online, you will be able simply to wipe the information off that phone and prevent someone from getting that information. 
use a unique password for every account online. This is something I use on my laptops and on my smart devices. It's called Prey, and Prey helps to prevent or helps to protect you against lost or stolen devices. It's available for Mac, for Windows, for Linux, and for all your smart devices. The secret to this one is you need to install it while you still have possession of your laptop and smart device. Once it's gone, it's too late to install it. If you're on a Windows computer, lock your device when you leave it. Nothing worse than to be working on something, get unexpected company, you walk away from your computer, and now maybe the grandkids are there and they start typing on your computer, wiping out four hours worth of work that you labored over for all that time. To lock your Windows computer, simply press the Windows key and the L for lock. Once you do that, your computer is locked. Doesn't matter if the grandkids now go to town on it and play with it. To unlock it, you would use the same thing that you use when you first unlock your computer when you start it up in the morning. Whether that's a fingerprint, a photograph, where it's taking your photo from the camera, or a pin or a password, whatever you use in the morning to unlock your computer, that's what you would also use here to unlock it and get back into it. The nice thing is, even if the grandkids played with it, if you had it locked, no harm would have happened to what you were working on. And when you go back into your computer, you'll be at the exact place where you were when you locked the device. Use a password manager, use two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication means that besides your username and password, they have to send you a code. And until you enter that code, no access to the account. It's quite possible for someone to steal your sign-in information. It's highly unlikely that at the same time, they also would have stolen your smart device. And if they don't have your smart device, they'll never get that code and they won't get access to your account. Check your account settings. Whether it's a program or your operating system, by default, they try to share as much information as possible. That's how they make their money. It's up to you to go in and change those settings so that you only share what you're comfortable in sharing. Don't be click happy. Just because there's a link doesn't mean you should be clicking on it. Remove personal data and lie. If you're filling out a questionnaire to get some coupons or brownie points, don't give them your real information. Make up some information. And if you have to go back to the site more than once, Remember what that made up information is. They'll be just as happy to sign you back in with the phony information the next time you go to that site. The only place you should ever use your real information are places where it's required. Your bank, government stuff, your broker, wherever, where they have to have your actual information. Any place else, lie. They're happy as long as the lie is the same each time you go there. If you didn't ask for it, then trash it. It's garbage. Something brand new from Avast, it's called Avast Omni. This is a little different because it's a combination of hardware and software. The hardware part plugs into your router and the software is one of their best paid products. It protects everything that's connected and anywhere you happen to be. We've entered a new age of online security. It's no longer just our computers and phones we need to protect. A growing number of things we depend on every day are connecting to the internet. Your smart TV, your thermostat, your cameras, and everything else in your smart home was not built with security in mind, putting your sensitive personal information at risk of being stolen. And in today's fast moving world of next generation cyber threats, even your physical safety can be at risk. A different approach to security is needed to protect you and your family in all aspects of your online life. Introducing Avast Omni, a new type of security for your connected life. Avast Omni is easy and all inclusive. All you need to do is connect the Avast Omni hub to your existing router, install the app, and your entire connected world is now protected. 
from your home and its connected devices to your family everywhere they go. The Omni app gives you full visibility of your smart home so you can be sure it's safe. If any unusual behavior is detected, you'll receive an alert wherever you are, so potential intruders can be immediately blocked. And Omni protects you outside the home. Avast Omni gives you powerful malware protection for all your portable devices to keep you safe from the latest threats wherever you connect to the internet. You can't control what's on the internet, but with Avast Omni, you can control how your children use it. Set limits on screen time, block inappropriate content, and get immediate peace of mind with our locator map that sends you alerts when your child reaches their destination safely. Protect your connected world with Avast Omni. Security everywhere you connect. Change of pace. You guys can now turn on your audio for the rest of the presentation. Are you looking for a mate? If you are, you aren't alone. They're also looking for clean singles. Senior citizens are the nation's leading carriers of AIDS. That's correct, AIDS. Hearing aids, band aids, walking aids, medical aids, government aids, and most of all, monetary aids for our kids, grandkids, and great grandkids. We also have a problem with HIV, and more and more of my hair is vanishing every single day. Nine facts I'd like to leave you with. Death is the number one killer in the world. Life is sexually transmitted. Good health is merely the slowest possible rate at which one can die. That's good. Life is like a jar of jalapeno peppers. What you do today might burn your backside tomorrow. Give a person a fish and you feed them for a day. Teach the person to use the internet and they won't bother you for weeks, months, maybe years. Health nuts are going to feel pretty stupid someday, lying in the hospital, dying of absolutely nothing. All of us can take a lesson from the weather. It pays no attention to criticism. In the 60s, people took acid to make the world weird. Now the world is weird and people take Prozac to make it normal. Don't worry about old age. It usually doesn't last long. I started doing these presentations back in 2010. I've been part of the Avast Customer Support Forum, which is a voluntary thing, not something you get paid for, since 2004. And in 2010, Avast asked me if I was interested in doing presentations. I have a very easy arrangement with them. I don't work for the company, but they pay all of my expenses. And if my wife comes with me, they pay her expenses. Of course, since the middle of March, there have been no expenses because I've been parking my tush in the kitchen doing remote presentations. These presentations are designed for the average user. If you know of any groups that would benefit from a presentation, have them contact me directly. There's never a charge to the club or its members for my services. That's where Avast comes in. If you learned something this evening, please let Lena at Avast know about it. That's how these presentations continue. And that's the end of this sales pitch. Well, thank you, Bob, very much. Uh-huh. Not quite finished yet. The link that you see on the bottom will get you access to most of what we've talked about. The follow-up email I send to Paul will also have that link in it so it can be passed along to the members. You've already done a recording of it. So if you ever want to go back on the program and follow it at your own pace, that'll make that easier. I'm going to get out of sharing the screen and then I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, there was a question in the chat, Bob, uh, from Chitra. She wanted to know how safe are password managers? I wondered if you might want to comment on that. A lot safer than the passwords that you keep, whether you keep them on the computer or you keep them in the notebook or whatever way you keep them. 
with a password manager if you're using the top ones. And that's the trick. Don't use a fly by night. There are plenty of excellent password managers that have stood the test of time that are available, both paid and free. They can make sure that you always use a different password. And if a password gets hacked, because that can happen, they can immediately change it for you. So yes, password managers are something you should be using. I use a password manager. I happen to use LastPass. Okay, does anybody have anything else for Bob? 